And let's begin with an update on the AX4 historic space mission, which will see the second Indian after Rakesh Sharma going to space. Shubhanshu Shukla, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, who's part of the Gaganyaan mission, is all set to be making his way to space on board the AX4 mission. And an update coming in while the scheduled takeoff was for June 8th. It's been pushed by two days, so the mission has been delayed to June 10th now due to operational delays essentially. Now we also, just about an hour ago, heard from Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla as a part of the briefing by the four astronauts who are a part of this mission, including Shukla, who is very fondly called by the crew as Captain Shooks. He is going to be, of course, scripting history for India, second Indian to go to space after Rakesh Sharma, the first to be spending 14 days, two weeks in space, the first Indian at the International Space Station. So a lot of historic firsts. Listen in to some of the excerpts of what Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla had to say about the space journey ahead. Uh, being Commander Rakesh Sharma, who was the first Indian astronaut, he has been like a mentor to me uh, at every step in this journey. He has, he has always been there to guide me, you know, how to navigate this entire journey right from the time of selection till uh, this mission. He is also from the Indian Air Force, a test pilot like I am. So we share a lot of common things between us. And uh, I think he understands very well the kind of challenges, uh, the kind of uh, preparation that we need uh, for executing this mission. So it was great to have him on my side uh, while I was navigating this journey. Unfortunately, due to some constraints, he won't be able to travel here uh, for the launch, but he has assured me that I have his full support. And he is, uh, he, I speak to him regularly, well now, uh, all the time. I am carrying something for him to space. And I said this in the previous conference as well, but I have not revealed it to him. So it's like mm -hmm. a surprise for him. So I would keep it to myself and, uh, you know, let it be revealed once I meet him uh, to hand it over to him personally. I think I'm excited about all the aspects of this mission, um, starting with the first time that we will be in a position to observe the Earth uh, from a vantage point that only a handful of uh, people on this planet have ever experienced. And um, after that, the uh, experience of floating in microgravity and, you know, everyday activities that seem so simple for us, like walking, sleeping, eating or, you know, drinking water they all become very different once you are up in space. So I'm really looking forward to having that experience uh, in the in space. Uh, we have uh, certain live events from on orbit and we will be doing live interactions. Uh, uh, several, uh, we will have one with the, with an Indian VIP and we will have the, with the students, with the academia and with also with the space industry so that I can share not just my, uh, you know, story, but whatever is the experience that I'm getting on orbit back with people, uh, you know, at, in our country. I will be conducting seven Indian experiments developed by brilliant minds from the research institutions across our nation, investigating the effect of microgravity on cultures ranging from stem cells to crop seeds. These experiments will pave the way for India's progress in microgravity science, and I'm proud to be the bridge between Earth and orbit for this pioneering research. Balancing this scientific ambition with a rich cultural heritage, I carry symbols, souvenirs, crafted by the talented students from the National Institute of Design, celebrating India's culture and creativity. These artifacts represent the spirit of our country in space, and I carry them with deep pride. From orbit, I will also be speaking live with students, educators, and members of India's growing space industry, sharing not just experiences, but inspiration. If even one young dreamer is moved to explore the cosmos because of this mission, we will have already succeeded. I hope to ignite curiosity and excitement in young minds to let them know that space is not a distant dream, but a future they can shape. This past year has been nothing short of a transformation, a journey of growth, discovery, and unshakable resolve. As I stand at the threshold of a 14-day mission to the International Space Station, I reflect on the path that has brought me here. From diverse systems to advanced platforms across continents and cultures, this training has been intense, but deeply rewarding. Behind every minute in space lies months, a lot of times years of preparation. I am deeply thankful to every member of the team 
who has shaped this journey through their expertise and dedication. This mission stands on your shoulders. And to my family and friends, your strength and support have been my anchor. In the most demanding moments, your belief kept me moving forward. My crew too, not just exceptional professionals, but they are truly remarkable teammates. And I've been grateful to them for every step. I am carrying a few delicacies from India. You know, we have a very um, rich culinary culture. And so a few of the items that I'm carrying are uh, mango nectar. I'm also carrying uh, moong dal halwa and uh, carrot halwa. Some of them are my favorites. And I am so happy to be able to carry them, share it with my colleagues and also the astronauts who are on the station right now. 